friends in this video we are going to discuss limitations of conventional tubes what are the limitations of conventional tubes and the need for microwave tubes is nothing but limitations of conventional tube so what are the limitations so conventional tubes are nothing but vacuum tubes and in this there will be three or more than three terminals will be there so the one terminal is called uh, cathode and another terminal is called plate or anode and the third terminal will called as grid that the number of grid can be one or more than one so depending on the number of grids the vacuum tubes can be can be named as triode tetrode pentode so if it is it has one grid then it is called triode if it has two grid it is called tetrode if it has three grid it is called pentode and so on and the so electrons flow electrons flow through vacuum tubes contains a cathode an anode and one or one or more electrode called grids so grid can be okay so vacuum tubes can be controlled with voltage so so the the, the vacuum tube is, is a voltage control device okay and vacuum tube can be operated at very high voltages and very and it can produce high powers but the limitation is it is useful only below microwave frequencies 1 gigahertz okay so this is the limitation so what are the reasons for this limitation that the conventional tube fails to operate above 1 gigahertz due to following reason so first reason is stray reactants stray reactants so there is two stray reactants one is inter electrode capacitance and another is lead inductance okay so the next reason is transient time or angle effect and another is can gain bandwidth product limitation skin effect conductor losses radiation losses directed loss we'll see this effects one by one okay so first is inter electrode capacitance what is capacitance whenever there is two plates and between which one dielectric is there there will be capacitance so in triode in triode there is three plates and between each pair of plates one dielectric air is there so there will be three capacitance okay one is grid to plate capacitance another is grid to cathode and the third one is grid to or uh, plate to cathode capacitance so we know the capacitance formula is epsilon a by d where epsilon is permittivity and a is cross sectional area and d is distance between plates and the reactance due to capacitance is 1 upon 2 pi fc so whenever frequency increases the reactance tends to short circuit tends to zero which is unwanted it should be open circuit with this this all pair of plates should be open circuited okay so below so, so at lower frequencies it will act as open circuit but above the microwave frequencies it will act as short circuit or low resistance which is unwanted so this is the one reason of limitation that it can't act, act it can't be useful above the 1 gigahertz this is one reason inter electrode capacitance next reason is lead inductance what is inductance in each in each wire or in, in, in each electrode there will be some inductance so there is three electrodes grid so grid inductance will be there there is another electrode plate plate inductance will be there there is third electrode cathode so cathode inductance will be there and we know the inductance formula if you don't know how to remember it you you know capacitance formula epsilon a by d reverse it you will get inductance formula epsilon a by d reverse it d by epsilon a and replace epsilon with mu 
रिप्लेस परमिटिविटी विथ परमिबिलिटी ए से रिप्लेस डी विथ एम रिप्लेस डिस्टेंस विथ लेंथ ऑफ कंडक्टर सो इट इज सिंपल एल अपॉन म्यू ए स्मॉल एल अपॉन म्यू ए इज इंडक्टर एंड रिएक्टेंस विथ इंडक्टेंस इज टू पाई एफ एल ओके टू पाई एफ एल सो इफ यू इंक्रीज फ्रिक्वेंसी द रिएक्टेंस ड्यू टू इंडक्टेंस विल बी इंक्रीज सो वी वॉन्ट द इलेक्ट्रोड should be should offer low resistance or should be short circuited but but at higher frequency it will act as open circuit so due to inductance there will be less gain means if you provide some amount of input but due to this inductance the input will be decreased so output will automatically be decreased the so gain will be decreased okay so this is another reason for limitation of vacuum tube due to which it, it can't be useful at higher frequency above 1 gigahertz so there to so due to lead inductance there will be input impedance matching problem at microwave frequencies small fraction of input reach to terminal for amplification so gain will be reduced the inductance of the cathode is common to both the grid and the anode okay so this provide the path for regenerative grid feedback so reflection will be there so again uh, gain will be reduced this inductance and interelectrode capacitance form unwanted tuned circuit so so on un produces unwanted parasitic oscillation so these are the two main reasons for limitation another factor is transit time or angle effect what is transit time or angle effect so we know the cathode emits cathode emit okay first of all i, I should clear this all marking so we know the cathode emits electrodes and plate collect it or anode collect cathode emits electrons and anode collect the electrons so the process is this but but if you provide some amount of input some amount of input to cathode it will emit electrons but if the some amount of ac input if you provide so suppose at positive cycle of input so electrons will be emitted but if the clock period is so small then the transit time of the electron what is transit time to reach time to reach electron from cathode to anode is transit time okay so suppose uh, suppose the clock period of this input signal is so small then transit time then that if if the electron emits and suppose see, again it will so the input will be turned to negative half cycle so the the electron will again attracted toward cathode so it will not be reached to anode okay because if it is if electron is emitted in positive half cycle of inputs then it 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 will be automatically attracted toward cathode in negative half cycle so to avoid this so the clock period of the input signal should be more than the transit time this is one limitation so okay this is called transit time effect so next uh, factor is gain bandwidth product limitation this is this will be discussed or i will explain in microwave topic okay how it is resolved in microwave tubes so what is key okay next factor is skin effect or in skin effect conductor losses it is also known as conductor losses what is skin effect so we know that the at low frequencies the conductor will conduct but at higher frequencies the skin depth skin depth formula is 1 upon pi f mu sigma okay 1 upon pi f mu sigma we know what is pi it is constant f is frequency mu is permeability sigma is permittivity so if we increase frequency the skin depth will be decreased so the current will flow through only conductor surface so effective 
area for conduction will be decreased so the conductor losses will be increased okay because if you in decrease the area for conduction so in limited area the current will flow heat will be generated power of conductor losses will be there so next factor is radiation losses we know the electromagnetic uh, radiation will be there at higher frequency so next factor is dielectric losses so there is dielectric between pleats so definitely dielectric losses will be there i hope you got uh, the clear picture of what are the limitations of conventional tube and in next next lecture we'll discuss how these limitations will be covered and what is the uh, what is the function of in microwave tubes uh, to to perform amplification and oscillation thank you